tri class. That's that depends what what you what you're playing. Is Tuno natural? Is Tuno asking partner where do you have help? Uh, remember we talked about a couple of couple of different possible treatments, and I don't know. You know, we talked about these variations in class. Um, We're doing the simple it, one. It, the yeah. simple one. Yeah. So, so if you're playing that the new suits by opener are definitely help suit tries. Um, to know by opener, I, you know, you could do that with this hand. To know by opener should show 18, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you had 15 to 17, mm -hmm. you probably opened one no, right? Now, this hand has a flaw that even if you had only 17, and we'll look at a hand like this, actually, this is right out of the Woolsey book. Uh, I don't have it with me today, so I can't tell you, I can't give you the page number, but it's in my notes. Um, you know, Woolsey gives a, a situation uh, where opener has a hand very much like this uh, with 18, and the auction begins one spade, one no, and he talks about what a problem rebid opener has, because you could bid two no to show your strength, but then you could lose a heart fit, or you could bid two hearts, but with 18, that's kind of an, un, you know, I think the hand has 17 that he shows. Two hearts is an underbid, three hearts is a game forcing jump shift, and you're kind of in between bids, and you get, to, sometimes you get stuck in these situations where you have a decision to make, where showing your strength and showing a second suit are in fact in conflict with one another, and you can't do both at once, um, and this is a problem. And he ultimately says, eh, I'm okay with a light jump shift, I'd rather be a little pushy. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. You know, and go ahead and force the game, and uh, you know, and if these hands end up being a misfit and our game doesn't make, oh well, oh. right? <laughs> so, so getting back to Marion's question about one spade, two spades, to know, asking where do you have help? Is that still on the on the table here? Um, I, I mean, if that, yeah, I mean, if if, if that's if that's your agreement. Yeah, I to, well, that's a partnership agreement. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, that's a partnership agreement. Yeah, yeah, the meaning that's the thing here is that, is that the meaning of two on an auction that starts one major, two major, two no by opener. I I really can't tell you that there is a standard treatment here because every partnership is going to play it a little differently. So yeah, so you could play. So you could be playing two no says. Partner, tell me where you have help, and if you don't think you have help anywhere, you just retreat to three spades. Tuno could say, partner, I've got the balanced 18. Uh, what do you think? Um, and with the balanced 18, with this kind of hand, I think raising Tuno to three no would be a reasonable mm -hmm. choice and uh, get you to uh, what we said is, in fact, the best game on these cards. Um, so, you know, a lot, of, I mean, there are a lot, lot of directions that you can go. And say Kind of like the idea of two no having the same meaning <laughs> as if the bidding goes one club, one spade, two no, <laughs> 18 points. I kind of like that idea. It's less confusing to me to have it be consistently yeah. 18, 18 or 19. But the, but the fact of the matter is two, two, no is, um, two no is likely across the board of all the bids in our box. Two no is conventional more often probably yes. than, uh -huh. than, than any other bid. And it does not carry the same meaning across all of no. our different auctions. No, but when so, there's no interference yeah. and it's just restricted. yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, you know, there's a but I mean, I, um, there's uh, <laughs> you know, as as we like to say, we, we say two two is not a contract; it's a convention. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we hardly ever actually want to play two yeah. so, so it's not Lebensall here though. Agree it should be <laughs> so there's.